Well, Kess, a game that coming into it kind of lined up to be a measuring stick game for how far you guys have come along this season and now going up against one of the top two uh, in the division. What was kind of the uh, overarching message to the team beforehand coming into it? Yeah, we obviously see them a bunch. We know they're uh, a very good team, and they, they play aggressive and play hard. They're, uh, they're a good team, and we kind of just wanted uh, to play our best. It's a good test against them always, and we came out playing a physical game like we wanted to and played a good team game, and it, it turned out well for us. As you continue to gain more and more experience in more and more different areas of the game, uh, what would you say is an area of your game that you would say is most improved from where you were at this time a year ago? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just... I say this a bunch, but continue to play my game. It's uh, something just keep keep being physical, keep working on that point uh, aspect of my game. And I think that's the biggest thing that I've I've grown a bu- uh, grown a bunch on. And I think I need to keep uh, improving on that. Take us through your goal late in the first there, which really turned into being a pretty big one to give you guys a little bit more of a cushion and a breath going into the intermission. Yeah, I mean, uh, just trying to get pucks through. It's just the same thing. Uh, we won that face off quick, and it's just getting the pucks through. And our, our forwards did a good job of taking the goalie's eyes away. I don't think he saw it, and just got in the right place and went in the net. It was one of those weird nights where you score six goals as a team, but the period where you didn't score at all might have been the most dangerous period. Was it frustrating at any point there during that second period, just getting chance after chance after chance and not being able to bury those? Kaiser had a couple good saves for sure, a couple nice glove glove saves. Um, but, no, I thought we played well that second period is. That was probably the most physical period for both teams, and I thought we did a great job of uh, being aggressive on them. You had Gaudette right in front of the net for your second shot that ends up in the net off of him, and uh, you just got the sense from him and from everybody else over on that bench that it felt like a huge monkey off the back for a guy who had been scoring at will with Toronto most of the year. Uh, Just how happy were you guys for him, and how well has he adjusted to being part of this group? Yeah, he's a great kid, and we're happy to have him. Obviously, uh, Hasn't had one yet, but nice greasy one to get in to get the floodgates open, and I'm sure he'll he'll keep putting them in the net for us, which would be great. Are you guys thinking about Game 7 of last year as Laval enters town tomorrow? Uh, not too much, but uh, that's that's one of the series we kind of always look back on. It was, it was great playing there, and their crazy atmosphere there with all their fans. I know they got a, a great place, so it'll be fun to have them come here and expect a good game out of them. And tonight felt like that playoff atmosphere and fans cheering. You guys could definitely feel that energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think we've had a couple of those games. Uh, lately, a couple of low-scoring games, which are just like playoff games, and it all comes down to, to being aggressive, playing physical, and just winning battles. I think that's playoff hockey. and It's great to see the fans into it tonight, and I'm sure tomorrow will be great too.